Colin Morgan asked strangers if wives should submit to their husbands, so. Should wives submit to their husbands? I knew this was going to be the question. That's why I was asking. Why is he so excited? What the fuck? Why is he so excited about wives being submissive when his list is his wrist is limp like that? She's nervous. I'm not nervous. And I have faith for you all. <laughs> you can't ask people who clearly just came out of Spencer's if wives should be submissive. The fuck? What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. And today we're at the mall asking strangers. Do you think wives should submit to their husbands? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and we are going to be having a patron Zoom call early next week where we're going to debrief on these videos, this episode, and then our last episode, which was also pretty zesty. Yeah, have fun with the two people that'll be there. Should wives submit to their husbands? I knew you were going to ask that question. No, you did not. You did not. There is no way you <laughs> I kind of did. Um, yes. Yes. 100%. I think there's a, there is a line. As far as like what submit is to different people. Listen to this one. That is that is. Damn, this is just confirmation bias. He like doesn't even care what she's saying. He's just like, she's saying what I want to. Do you see that face? He went, like you know, it looked like the ending scene of Pearl, where she's like, I'm so happy you're home. Like that looks so scary. He's scary. He is. It is scary. That Look at it, that face. To do was to lead in that way. Listen to this one. That is that is refreshing. That is. Yes, I agree. I think it like definitely depends on like what the decision is that you're making. Like I think that I've seen like my mom and my dad do a lot, like a really good job of making decisions together, but like in the end like my dad's leading. Wow, it's almost like a relationship is like a partnership and you should like do things and make decisions together because it is a relationship and a relationship is two people, so. So today's question, do you believe wives should submit to their husbands? Yes, I believe that wives should um, submit to their husbands, but I don't, I think that women should still have like the role in society of being able to like get, have their own job and like be able to vote and do all the things. I don't necessarily think that women should only be able to like be at home and cook and clean and different things like that. But I do think, like, as a Christian, that whenever I am married and have a husband, that I would submit to him. What about you? I guess, yeah, to each their own, okay? If that's what you want, then, like, okay. She was respectful about it. I respect her. I agree. Everything <laughs> she said, I agree. First question I like to ask, do you guys consider uh -oh. yourselves Christian? I, I can tell by the outfits. Oh, man, he already clocked them. He's like, by the pepper spray, I can tell your asses are not Christian because you have pepper spray and you hate men. Christian. No. I was so right. That's what I'm saying. You can tell. They are not Christians. And he could tell too. He clocked them so fucking hard. Hot topic question. Do you believe that wives should submit to their husbands? In what way? Submission as in he is the, the head of the home or the leader of the home. Yes. Kind of like a, a biblical worldview. Oh? Do you? Yes, I do. So oh. both of you said you don't consider yourselves Christians and both of you say yes, you believe in that. I didn't expect that. Do you guys want to elaborate on that at all? Why would you say you like that model? I don't think it has anything to do with religion mostly. I think it has to do with the relationship itself. And it's more comfortable for partners for the man to be head of the household, in charge of things. And it's more comfortable for the woman to just kind of relax. Wow. Well, what about you? Any yes, other? girls just relax, kick our feet up, drink wine. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. But like, how are you? You're not, you're not Christian, but you're like, I don't know, I feel like the opinion should be, like, depends on the relationship and what they want. Like, they're, like, applying it to every relationship ever. Like, I hate people who are, like, there is a right way to do a relationship when it's, like, everyone is different and every relationship is different, so. Further, further thoughts on that? That's it. Well, also, are the, if they're dating, you can't, she can't say that wives should be submissive to their husband when she literally talked for him, but, like whatever i guess i don't know do you, let me ask you this do you feel like uh because we you guys are like our six people do you think it's gonna swing heavier in favor of more of the ladies saying yeah i would prefer that the husband is the leader or do you think it's going to be more of the opposite um i think it's going to swing in favor especially because he's carrying my <laughs> my things right now good man yeah. oh, that's interesting. submitting is when a man carries 
your things. I think that's kind of submissive of the man just saying because like they're doing you a favor. Like I feel like that's kind of submissive on the man's part to be like, milady, let me carry your bags, please. That's that's not a wife being submissive, but whatever. How do you all feel about wives submitting to their husbands within marriage? I really have a hard time with agreeing with that. And yeah. I just feel like even in the Lord's eye, I just think that as humans, we take it too literal. I have about the same opinion on that, really. Are you in a relationship? No. Okay. But you are? With, it's just dating? Uh, we, yeah, we've been together for about four years, and we've lived together since we've been together. So, okay. like, we've got to, we've got to learn a lot about each other. So, yeah. we're just kind of in that phase right now where that's kind of what we're bickering about right now. She's like, you guys are having premarital sex. She was, like, literally judging them, but, like... A lesbian couple. I mean, with the Stranger Things, I guess I wouldn't count it out, but... But, like, literally Morgan had premarital sex, but... I mean, she's against it now, but... Can't really judge that hard, but whatever. Well, obviously, I do know that we sh probably should be married before we live together, first of all. So, I feel like, you know, us living together and not being married, I feel like that causes a lot of conflict. And that's probably why we are having a lot of problems right now is because, you know, we are living together and, and our actions are not, you know. Why, wait, why would being married change that? Why would a ring on your finger change the dynamic of you guys living together? I f that's, that makes no sense. I don't get it. Try to ask for forgiveness, you know. But now we're becoming roommates. So <laughs> now we're getting out. Well, now I'm moving oh, out. Oh, yeah. She's getting out of there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're we're now okay. kind of. I don't, things are complicated right now. So yeah, we're. Yeah, the. Do you see that kid? That kid was like hell no. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> Look we're at him. Kind of, like, oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> And I encourage you to find a man, both of you all, <laughs> who knows what the Word of God says and who is going to lead you by Scripture, by what God says, because, yes, respects you. Bro, imagine if you're, like, dating a guy, and then, like, every time you ask to do something with him, he has to, like, check the Bible to see if it's in there. You'd be fucking pissed. I'd be pissed if, like, every time my partner was like thinking about a decision we were making he would like check a book like the fuck Bye. so i have a question for you all yeah are you married we are okay <laughs> i love that i noticed uh, ring yeah, just yes, had a baby yes, yes. Seven well you do not look like you, you had no baby, baby. <laughs> they're literally just here to brag they're I'm such sure attention like, whores turned out I, I literally came up and i said hey care to be in the video and then Cameron says you know me Paul old church friends <laughs> yeah. from way back in the day way 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 back way way back way way, way back so um first question Cameron okay. do you consider yourself a Christian um I do consider myself a follower of Christ but I'm not sure if I would necessarily put myself in the box of being a Christian you know I don't know I'm kind of like more spiritual than religious. So your hes your hesitation then to call yourself a Christian is because he's judging her. I I think she's valid. I think she's valid. Spirituality is personal. That's her thing. He didn't like that. I mean, I think there's people who like are kind of like, eh, I don't know, like how much I feel about being a part of like the organization and stuff. I think that's fair. But the versions of the Bibles I've read, I don't agree with everything that's in there. And I feel like that's a big part of Christianity is like believing everything that's written in the Bible as like the word of Christ and like what he exactly said. So that's not truly what, how I feel. What is an example of a version that you've read that you don't particularly agree with? So I know that a lot of people will like quote the Bible and be like, well, the Bible says that, you know, a man should not lie with another man. The Bible says, uh oh, he's about to get pissed, bro. <laughs> things about people's like sexuality, people's freedoms as like a man and a woman's role. Well, we are about to get to that. We haven't even got to our hot topic question. Now I'm like, I knew that I was uh, I know it's about to get interesting now. All right, okay. so. <laughs> Friendship's about to be ruined. <laughs> Cameron. Okay. Our hot topic question of the day. Okay. Yes. You're married. Yes. You've been okay. married for about seven years. Yes. The hot topic question is, uh -huh. should wives submit to their husbands? I knew this was going to be the question. That's why I was asking. I was like, yo, the question? stiffen that wrist up, church. man. What? So I don't know if I agree with necessarily the term submit. But I do believe that wives should allow 
their men to feel like they have a say so in the relationship i should feel i do believe that they should allow their men to feel like they're like protectors and that they are overall like providers for the family and I okay i still to this day i do not understand what the fuck people mean when they say men are the protectors what who are you protecting and what are you protecting them from i don't get it are you like is every man like built-in security guard for their wife like I really don't get it. Like, let the- yeah, let them live in delusion. Enable your man to feel like he is, like, this military man protecting his family. Like, I really don't get it. Like, having an equal say-so is fine. Like, I think that's, like, healthy. Like, everyone in the relationship, it should be, like, 50-50 in terms of, like, decisions made. But, like, what is this, like, protector shit? What are you being protected from? I really don't get it. Sometimes, if you undermine that- then that's when I feel like you should submit and just let it be. So I find it interesting you said that the men, and by the way, her husband is standing off camera, so oh, he yes. is staring he daggers is at us. very shy. <laughs> Will not. No, Make no, him but, mad. But I found it interesting you said that the husband should feel like they, you know, have have a say, have some leadership. Yeah, yeah. Would you say that Bears? my husband's feeling that way, that means they actually do have? Like, a, there's a reality that they are leaders in some respect, or should they just feel like it? Like, the wife just... Mi Hey, baby, like, as long as you feel like that, I'm really the boss. You know, what I, you know what I mean? Well, pretty much. Because I do feel like women do like... He's laughing. He's laughing over here. He knows it's true. It's fine. But I feel like when you are in certain situations, it's not really... It's kind of like one of those pick your battle types of things. Is it really important for you to be like, I'm the one that makes all the decisions. Okay. Yeah, the that's weird. This, or I make more money. That's control. That's literally like abuse like controlling and like abusive relationship like like not letting your partner make any of their own decisions and having their own thoughts and opinions like yeah she's right as long as you are making your partner feel like they are really like valuable to the relationship then that's yeah. what matters so you mentioned that certain aspects of the bible or certain versions of it you would see some good stuff in it mm -hmm. do you know what the bible says about wives submitting to their husbands i do not word for word okay so it you says it says uh it, it kind of repeats this in several places but if Bruh, it, his ass knows it word for word he's so creepy imagine you're dating a guy and he can just quote perfectly a bible verse about how you sh should submit to him are you for real that's nasty that is such an ick wives submit to your husbands yes as submitting unto the lord thoughts on that do you agree with it what Ew. <sighs> yeah that's nasty See, that's tough because you that smile bro he's You're so weird yes right but i do feel like in some situations yes you should submit to your husband after that the apostle paul writes husbands love your wives as christ loved the church and gave himself up for her do you agree with that part of the bible yes mm -hmm. i think you should love well, that was an easier yes yes well, yeah. Because loving somebody and submitting to each somebody. Yeah, that's totally completely different. Things, different. Right? Interesting. So if it would have said, wives, love your husbands as Christ loved everybody. And as yeah, you, you should church, love people, but you don't I have to submit yes to anyone. Too. Either way. Very interesting. Uh, let me give you one more scenario. You say you have a child and there's a big decision for the child. And mm -hmm. you just are like, this is the way for little Timmy. This is mm -hmm. the direction I want him to go. Your husband is like no no i think little timmy needs to go this direction mm -hmm. who makes that final decision who makes the, the, you the compromise. final call on little tim tim or is it little tim tim that makes the final decision <laughs> it's little tim tim yeah, little tim tim decide on and you guide decision. him i mean in some situations i would let the kid just decide on their own because i feel like kids really need to learn from their own mistakes what if yeah i agree if he wanted to decide what he wants to wear to school i want him to wear one thing he wants his dad wants him to wear another, but little Tim Tim wants to wear pajamas. Well, let him wear pajamas. When they send him home for wearing pajamas, we'll be like, this is why you can't wear them, Tim Tim. You got to wear what we said to wear. Okay, but going back to if it's a decision between you and your husband yeah. for little Tim Tim, little who Tim makes Tim who Tim makes Tim. that call? I would oh let him God. make it because it's a boy. He's a man. He knows, what about he knows little, how to ra raise a, little, a man. Little Sarah Sarah. Then I get to make the decision because she's a girl. I know how to raise a girl because I am one. 
Cameron, thank you for your time. All right, you guys. So we make Christian content. Um, so first question is just... I think fathers need to, like, learn to be more comfortable with having daughters. Like, why? I feel like so many girls end up, like, traumatized because their dads, like, don't know how to interact normally with a young woman that they are raising. That's such a weird thing. Like, the dad makes the decisions for the boys because he is a boy and the woman makes the decisions for the girls because she's a girl like no like both of you have to parent it's your child i'd be okay with any gender child i don't i really don't give a shit i would treat them all equally it really does not fucking matter we yeah, this is boring. That way, but the man, like, they're trying to get home and use that vibrator. Though. Like, oh, I have to submit to my husband, but, like, husbands are over here, like, uh... They just, I like, talk. This is not what, like, a like a man-on-the-street interview is supposed to be. You're just... You're talking the whole time. I want to know what it's like to be a virgin on your wedding night, though. This is the face of a virgin headed to the hotel on his wedding night. I thought I would just share my personal story, my experience with it, being a virgin on our wedding night, and then... Yeah, the most marginalized group that needs to share his story, virginity. This is so... Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, as a disclaimer, I am not married. I have not saved myself for marriage. <laughs> I would move into like some tips that I would have for you to maybe calm your nerves and to prepare you a little bit. Morgan, how does that sound? That sounds great to me. Those of you in our audience, you kind of know- Bro, put the gun away, she's scared. About her past and just the, the redemption. You got it. I'm just gonna be honest with, uh, with how things went down. So Morgan and I are dating, we're getting serious, engaged. Do they know what serious means? I'm pretty sure when you say a relationship is getting serious, I'm pretty sure that means, like, you're having sex. And also, like, you're, like, pretty committed and, like, set on each other. I don't know if I'd call a relationship where you're, like, not even, like, kissing serious. That's not very serious to me, but whatever. And we were getting close, and we were starting to talk about it. Use your discretion there. We stayed at the wedding reception for a little while, we did some dancing with our friends. Worth. Then- I don't know, just like, I wouldn't consider a relationship serious if I wasn't like intimate with someone personally. But I guess it was for them. Headed to the hotel on his wedding night. Well said. Bruh. Well said, my love. You look beautiful. You look stunning, by the way. Thank you. Love that picture. But in all reality, this picture, you guys, a picture is worth a, worth a fa 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 He's mad, bro. And truly, like, I could just She's not- she wasn't one. I really don't need to say anything else. He, like, you know, like there's been, like, videos of him saying, like, he knew that she wasn't a virgin, but he, like, showed her Christ and he forgave her. He learned- he had to learn to forgive her. And she said that, like, she found God again and she felt like a virgin again. It's crazy. It's so whack and weird that he was like yeah i had to learn how to forgive her bro it's crazy it's so gross like he is whack like th these people are whack i feel like morgan's a victim but morgan has also been whack i don't want to completely like be like she's a victim because she has done like gross stuff too and said gross stuff but paul is like oh my god disgusting version on your wedding night it's that face of excitement but anyway um so we get to the hotel room it has been a long day morgan threw up not too long before yep. during the vow oh my god yeah she threw up at the wedding did you guys have you guys seen that he was about to like he was like giving his vows and she had to run off she ran off and threw up i'm so serious I'm pretty sure he said, like, I can't give you everything, and he was going to complete it, and he's like, Christ will give you some of that, but he's like, I know that I can't give you everything, and she just started gagging. It's so bad. It looks so bad. Yeah, okay, we're given too much. We are given too many details. No, this is good. This builds the, the hype of... 
Okay, you're right. And I think it's good too. Bro, these people are so unserious. Like, they can't even just say, the fucking. We were building up to the fucking. We were building up to having sex. Like, you know, people are so unserious when they can't say, they can't just say sex. They have to be like, <laughs> the dirty. <laughs> You know, I, I know some people are probably going to laugh at some of the details that we share. Some of the like, oh, like that's so obvious. But again, a reason we're getting even more intentional about this is what about repression does to a motherfucker. This is terrible. Is there is genuinely like this cloud of cluelessness. When it yeah, yeah, because you had repressed like every bit of sexuality for like over two decades of course you're gonna be clueless and it's gonna be bad everyone's clueless the first time but usually they get over it over like they get it over with before the age of like 21. mysterious i don't think it needs to be uh, we get to the hotel we eat some snacks i was really hoping you wouldn't be too tired to have sex i knew i knew i was like no we're having sex I, I knew we were having sex that night yeah What do you mean you knew, bro? Just say you wanted to. Just say you wanted to. Just say you were horny. Just say you were horny. Because the best foreplay is fun play. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Y'all, like, pull out, like, the water slide before? What does that mean? Y'all get the Play-Doh before you get going? Like, what do you mean fun play? The fuck? Yeah, they do like a silly little dance. They play some like, oh yeah, they play Roblox together. The fuck? Hey, yo, girl, let me show you my Legos. The fuck? I just came up with that. Can't stress. For Build me. Legos around we his dick. We get to the dick. hotel room. Got all freshened up and put on some good old lingerie. You did, yes, very yes. good. Cause that was something I think we had talked about. Is like, yeah, what you were gonna wear and stuff. Well, I told you that I got some good. Dude, I never wear lingerie. I don't know if that's like weird, but I'm just like, do I gotta make it that special? I don't think anyone deserves to see me that special. Yeah, Paul wore lingerie too. Like the fuck? It's so bad. I think they consider lingerie Christian like as long as only like your husband's seeing it. I think that's like the take. I mean, you can if you want to, but like they immediately go to 100 and it's just like bad. Stuff from my bachelorette party. My because penis is becoming an so, indie. <laughs> I was laying in the bed on one side, mm -hmm. full of anticipation. Um, I think I had. I full had... of anticipation. That means dick full of blood. <laughs> yeah, because they can't masturbate. You're yeah, right. You're they can't masturbate them. either. So, yeah, like. Yeah, I think that was probably. When I first walk out. What was your thoughts? Well, I, I, I was, okay, it was, I was about to see this woman I love naked, and that just was... Wait, like, they had never seen each other like, okay, naked? Here we go. People say, like, purity culture c contributed to me feeling guilty mm -hmm. for... Yes, it sex did. And ...sex and pleasure. Yes, it did. Fair enough, you know, we all have different experiences. I kind of went through some forms of purity culture, I guess. There was that, like, I think... I'm about to see a woman, like, here in this room with me naked. <laughs> Bruh, how- he was like, oh my god. Virgin, like, cubed. Like, what do you mean? Holy fuck, cunt. I'm about to see a woman naked. Holy fuck, cunt. What the fuck? He is that aghasted by a naked woman? That's crazy. You think he prayed? Thank you, Father, for this meal. I don't know. I don't know how you pray. I think one time I was at like a Christian like friend's house and they had me lead the prayer at the dinner table. I was like, y'all, like, I have never prayed at the dinner table in my entire life. I don't know why they did that. I was like, y'all, like, I, I don't know how these things go. Thank you, Father, for this heavenly meal. The fuck? Yeah, I know. This friend also told me I was going to hell because I didn't go to church, so... I was, like, 12. I'm sure she's a better person now, but... Still, it's weird for, like, a young girl to tell her friend that she's going to hell because she doesn't go to church. It's so weird. But yeah, they had me lead a prayer, and I don't know how to pray at the dinner table. I still don't. 
I, Praise the Lord that I'm getting to enter into the stage of life. Yeah. Does he know about cunnilingus? I don't think he does. Never having done this before. I think for me, full transparency, I had done a decent amount of research. I didn't want to be just totally clueless. Bruh. Research? You know, I'm built different. Uh, that shit just comes naturally to me. <sighs> I could do that shit with my eyes closed. I munch that shit blind, you know? Yeah, what- where were you researching? Was he taking, like, anatomy tests online, like? Just our God-given, it's kind of like, when two people love each other, mm -hmm. it it's just kind of makes sense, even though I have heard- Hyrulean uh, Hawk, that's crazy, I love that. Uh, the girl just was- had no clue how to do- just- Bro, her looking at him, do you see the way she's looking at him? That's like, so someone pretending to be in love with someone. Just like the, like there, there is no genuine love in those yeah. eyes. Our bodies just naturally gravitate towards each other and then become the flesh. <laughs> so I, I wasn't too fearful. I will say though, Morgan, like I remember in the first couple weeks of our marriage and honeymoon. I does he know a woman anxiety. can come? Like, I don't know if he does. I got up in my head and it did affect my performance, if you will. But we're talking about on the wedding night, we're in bed together, foreplay continued, which was just gently touching each other. And... Foreplay just... <laughs> Boop! <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle! This little biggie went to the market. <laughs> Gentle touching. You hard yet? Boop! <laughs> Yeah, you're fucking doing combos like X Y X X on like her shit. Oh my god, he looks like a reshuffled version of Dennis from It's Always Sunny. You're so right. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. That is a so good. You're so right. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember this. If the woman really loves the man, as soon as her genitals reach the man, she silently sucks up his organ within herself um you know that's sex the man has no need to make any effort don't say that don't say that no things are getting worse ladies we going gay <laughs> If the woman's love is strong enough, her body sucks up his organ as air is sucked up into an empty sp His organ, bruh? Was it like the thing? It's like ringworm? Like, I just can't help but imagine he's talking about like ringworm or some shit. Oh, this is a whole threat. Uh <laughs> no way, he has a picture of Sniper Wolf in this guy. <laughs> That's the start of the thread. This is what sparked the thread. Why promiscuous women can never be happy in this life and why do you, why do you have to avoid them at all costs? If you want no divorce, bro. This is like a divorce guide. Like this is pro divorce. Women are energy receivers and men are givers. Bruh, me when I'm talking to men like On my crystals all right all right what i want you to do is breathe in real deep okay now exhale just sucked up your energy bitch that's what women do be careful guys fellas be careful women gets energy out of sexual love a man loses energy what i think we both lose energy i've seen insane sweat but she loses nothing in making love. She is always the gainer. This is a very astonishing fact that only a few wise men know. If this does not come about, the only reason is that the woman does not love this man. Therefore, her body does not perform the act of suction. <laughs> Do they think that a vagina is like a vacuum? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
no ain't no way the pe- the reason people go into a sen- a sen- asceticism is not that they are against sex or anti-pleasure is because they do not want to add any new negative memory to their system <laughs> bro like you you fucking enter some pussy and you get a vision like link when he gets to one of the tears in tears of the kingdom you get one of the cutscenes, and it like scars you that's crazy what the fuck oh my god how long get the women's secret 2.0 i thought you didn't want to have sex with women this is crazy anyways this is entertaining for me i don't know why but fucking like fundamentalists and weird People who are just strange about sex are so fascinating to me. It is uncomfortable, but it's, like, fascinating. I'm fascinated. If you're uncomfortable, you can leave. Like, it's okay. If you're uncomfortable, you can leave. But, like, I I got... T- I'm all for healthy, healthy lives and mindsets around sex. And this is not it. I'm correcting them. We just laid out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Highly encourage that. Don't feel like you have to rush into... Yeah. Penetration. Yeah. Yes. Am I going to do a good job? Am I going to please the other person? Just just love on them. I do remember, Morgan, this is... Yeah, don't worry about pleasing your wife. You never have to worry about that. Never, ever. Like, the first time, like, you're just getting to know things. Like, it's fine. Like, the first time you do something with anyone, it's fine to, like... I don't expect, like, the best performance the first time I do something with anyone with anything that has to do with anything again like a lot of this applies to like a lot of things but the first time you try something it's just you like getting to know things but then you gotta like improve especially when it's a partnership you gotta try to like it hurts what i mean it hurt for me but the thing is when wait did it hurt for him or for her i don't know because like sometimes it does for her oh, okay well yeah, that happened to me too but the thing is like he stopped when i went ouch because that's what normal people do they see someone in pain and they go oh they're in pain i don't want to put them in pain we're gonna save it for new location dun, 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 dun. what what are they cooking associate sexual feelings with shame your whole childhood and they expect you to have a healthy sex life once you get married yeah that's that's literally so bad like i cannot even imagine like i'm so lucky i wasn't brought up like that because i still have like guilt and like issues around like my own sexuality and like having a healthy mindset i wasn't even raised religious or like conservative in any way but like just it's hard to like deal with in the first place especially as a woman like dealing with guilt and having a healthy like relationship and like making sure that things like are going okay like it's it's a part of your health and i think that's something for anyone but just having like people tell you that you're a terrible person for like having any type of sexual thoughts even though like that's a completely human part of you like that's just like a part of being a person like you were born to not everyone has to have sex i'm not saying that everyone has to like if you're asexual cool if you don't want to have sex perfect like that's fine but like treating it as if like it's a shameful part that you're supposed to repress is like never a good thing it's literally we were literally put on this earth to like eat fruit have sex breathe air drink water you know it's one of the pleasures in life and there's a lot of like navigation that has to go around it just because like you do it with someone else um but i think there's a lot to be taken from conversations about sex because i feel like a lot of it can like apply to other aspects of life that's what i'm saying that's what we were meant to do that's what it was intended god or not we were meant to eat fruit eat the forbidden apple, have sex. You know, the clitoris exists for a reason. Might might as well use it as much as you can, while you can. I just think being sex positive is something that is needed more in life. So that is something that I try to do because I think a lot of people get uncomfortable, which is fine, but I want to be like open about it. I'm not going to like go into detail about like things that I do, but I think it is like an, a part of health, both social and physical. Because, like, yeah, people do those things. 
and it should be done safely and respectfully, you know? If you don't want to have sex, that's, like, fine. Like, it's, like, decisions everyone makes and everyone's different. It's with anything. It's literally with anything. Like, consent applies to literally anything in life. Like, partnership and doing things with other people, like, any of that stuff applies to so many different parts of life. I want to treat it like it's a normal part of everyone's life because it should- it is for those who want it to be. Like, it's one- it's one of, like, the universe's gifts that we can like have fun with another person and like it's funny it is it is something that's silly it's silly and we can laugh at it we can have fun and we can enjoy time being close with another person you know it's cool all right morgan um the intimate detail I, I'm they're just, doing it outside bro like, to me honestly oh hell feels... no nah. I'm not equating myself to the Songs of Solomon, Mr. Romantic himself, but it, it has a little bit of that feel to it. Okay. I remember when you took your shirt off, when you took your bra off. His Disneyland video? Seen, no. You know, your nakedness for the first time. Again, this is you know, my first experience with something like this, and it was just like, I'm, I'm the Sex in public. In the I, I'm first night voyeurism. This woman's body, this... The, God has given me this woman to enjoy, to take pleasure in, to delight in. Good evening, your nakedness. Touch all over you. Uh, it was very special. So yeah, all of this is is the act of, you know, sexual intimacy. It's not just penetration. Maybe if you're a virgin and it's your first time and you haven't done a ton of research and it's your wedding night, it's like research. You're just thinking like we just have to like. Do this. Go straight to penetration. Mm -hmm. If someone ever walks in on me watching porn, I'll be like, I'm doing research. So, remember that ne next time that happens. I don't know why I keep saying next time. There wasn't a first time. Sorry, I'm researching yeah, porn just kind of all of that this. is gay. So that's the main stuff I remember. And then, obviously, intercourse and, and all of that, it, it did come very naturally. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to... Well, yeah, that's fine. It is... Like it is okay to be know nervous. exactly what's going on and that's why one we do encourage some communication about the wedding night before the wedding night happens some with your person um just so that you guys can kind of what do you mean some and voice like hey like can we just take it really slow like i'm, I'm nervous about this this is our first time and i want it to be special but also i don't want to like set it up so high in expectation that if something doesn't happen exactly how we thought like we're going to be disappointed you know even like premarital counseling with our pastor that was a good space to go ahead and start discussing yeah i feel like there's no way you can like immediately have an enjoyable time i feel like that's gotta take years to correct itself to like get rid of that guilt and you might even never get rid of all of it because like You've been programmed so long to be like, I can't do this thing, it's bad. But now you're, I'm married, so I can go at it. Like, there's no way. That doesn't leave issues. Alright, so Paul, what tips do you have for virgins on their wedding night? What? Wait, no. Why didn't you wait till the cut? After the cut? Or just don't even get the cut away. Just ask the question. Oh my fucking god. What? Why is she playing guitar? Uh, wait. No fucking way. She is a Dr. Pepper acoustic guitar. That's crazy. Holy fuck. Ain't no way. I'm boycotting Dr. Pepper. I'm not gonna ugly shame the baby. I'm not gonna ugly shame the baby. I'm not gonna ugly shame the baby. I'm not gonna right, ugly guys, shame the baby. My tips, shout Holy it. fuck, cunt. She got the Dr. Pepper guitar. We have a Discord community. It's just a way to go deeper with us. Wait, so you ask a question. People are gonna- I forgot the question by now. They ask a question, then they do a cutaway. Show their ugly b I'm not gonna ugly shave the baby. And then they're doing a cutaway promo. Be kind of I know, I'm sorry. The baby so did nothing wrong. That's why I was trying not to shame it. Yeah, you can do research. We I wish the best for that baby. That. I hope but I hope the baby you is okay. But be careful with the type of content that you're taking in and if you feel like this is causing temptation before the time is right, stop. <laughs> good, good advice, Morgan. Yes. Okay, why are all, I've noticed this recently, but so many Christian YouTubers have become like sex coaches. 
I feel like they all got excited collectively that they could finally have sex and like want the whole world to know about it now that like they have sex but like literally all of them were like I want everyone know to know that I can fuck now and I have a lot 20 minutes of just hugging 20 minutes of just hugging whoa whoa bro yeah you mean like you were cuddling before sex like does he mean that as foreplay do I that know. like don't, there's you honestly, heathens both parties will enjoy that Evil. and it'll probably be building up the anticipation yeah now well, i do like hugging parties but... is like uh i'm just not ready to do it tonight and then the next day comes i'm not ready to do it tomorrow and then like two weeks go by that might start causing some you know yeah guys come on you gotta consecrate the marriage <laughs> <laughs> i mean i, I don't want to even i want to be careful whoa 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 okay you know what i'm i'm against waiting till marriage but like if you did wait till marriage and then all of a sudden you're pressuring them like no shit they're gonna feel uncomfortable because they've been repressing it for so long they're gonna like that's just forcing like come on are you for real why have i needed two weeks to have sex with my new husband or my new wife two weeks is not that long like maybe you're like slowly building up to intimacy like getting more and more intimate like why are you just all of a sudden opening up to everything like girl defined was like we got married and then we could just have at it and i feel like that's just like that's way too much if you are finding yourself two weeks a month three months in and you all still haven't had sex i would highly encourage seeking a counselor yeah. seeking help but you know if it's an hour long of just cuddling no shame in that at all in, in fact slow things down prepare for it to be a slower more drawn out process yeah all that's that fair that's like blood, with anyone when you have not touched it just depends sex. you gotta like communicate it and another piece of advice would be go into it prepared to laugh if things get a little bit awkward i agree oh my god that's a good take i've been saying this sometimes things make noises sometimes shit looks funny sometimes sex is funny i'm sorry it is it's so funny you don't gotta be that serious that makes it so much less enjoyable when you can just laugh because you're like <laughs> boobs like or like queef lol like it's funny it's silly come on are they done i, I think that this would be wow that was a good conversation i was not raised religious so i don't understand the mindset of purity culture so this is like way beyond my realm but i mean i guess like i grew up with a lot of catholics around so i guess i like knew a lot of people that are kind of like this but they're more like southern type of stuff this was i'm like northern catholic so it's it's definitely this type of christian is definitely different than the ones i have run into in my life yeah it is them coping with the extremely negative effects of purity culture i agree but still just like i'm against purity culture in general and i feel like even outside of any type of religion i feel like people my age have gotten more puritanical not just in terms of like saving yourself but also what is considered okay like i feel like people have gotten more sensitive at any expression of sexuality even people my age well it is abusive because it feels there's pressure and there's guilt and there's a forgiveness aspect especially in paul and morgan's case like morgan like feels like she has to keep paul's forgiveness because she wasn't a virgin when they got married and that creates a very toxic and manipulative dynamic and it makes me very uncomfortable it's upsetting for sure